shake my hand. How's that? Oh, I do. Shake my hand and say, glad to be here, Paul. How's that? <laughs> All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming today from Beckley's Camping Center, and look what I have. Not only do I have a representative from Grand Design, this is the grand rep of them all. This is Taylor Bennett. And you know what? He is just, did I pronounce your name right? You did. I did, okay, good. So anyway, I thought you said you were gonna talk. But anyway, anyway, he is just giving me the walkthrough on this brand new Transan Explorer, and I'm ready to show it to you, but I wanted to thank you, Taylor, for coming out and sharing Thanks this with Thanks for having me. me, Paul. Hey, great. So anyway, let's get on to this video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so back from a uh, long vacation is my Vanna White here. This is Jamie, the Air Force guy's daughter, and she's here to help me with this Trans and Explore. So what you're looking at here, by the way, I'm going to have all the specs and pricing down below, so be sure to check that out, as well as my contact information. So as you can see, this is going to be your typical stick and tin model. Up in the front, you're going to have just a standard... Um, standard uh, manual jack, 20, L 20 pound LP bottles with batteries. Now, because of the size you have there, you could put up to two different batteries if you needed to there. Now, what I like about what they've done is they've taken, even though this is the lesser of the trans ends, meaning the Explorer, they still have some of the high-end features on here, such as taking a look at this door. When you open this door, you're going to notice that you one hand and it has a magnet to hold it up. And notice how you have the lighting in here. And the lighting is a sensor light, as you saw that sensor come, that light come on as it uh, sensed the motion of the camera. Okay, so on the off-door side where you're going to be doing your servicing, the first thing you're going to notice up front here, this is going to be where you're going to have your 12-volt uh, fusion solar charge. Uh, for the solar panel and then on the inside it's going to be basically this similar to what's on the Imagines and your Trans Ends. Okay and so then inside here this is where you're going to uh, hook up your city water hose. Now you're going to take your city water hose up through the um, the hole through the it's going to come through the bottom but come right up through there. Now something I recommend that you do there is because critters do like to travel is Put some Vaseline on your on your uh, water hose and put some brass wool inside that hole to keep them from coming inside. A great deterrent. Now, while you're hooked up to city water, you can see you can have it on city right there. Or you can turn this up to the fresh fill. You can fill up your fresh water tank while you're connected here. Or there's another place, I'll show you, there's another place for you to hook up the fresh water. Now next, right above your fresh water or your city water is going to be your battery disconnect. Nice thing with that is when you're not connected to power, not towing it down the road, you can disconnect your 12 volt. Above that towards the back you can see you have a cable connection as well as a satellite connection port. And then in the event that you needed to put in any 110 power here, you have an outlet here so you can go ahead and connect 110 power here in your pass-through. So underneath, you're going to have four stabilizer jacks. You're going to have one on each corner. You're going to notice this is a sealed and enclosed underbelly. You're going to have um, your low point drains right on the other side. And I'll take you around the back and show you where your uh, sewer connection is. And then your fresh water tank dump is right inside the wheel on this side. And there is a LP connection for a outside grill right here up in the front. Okay, so on the door side, other than the large awning, you're going to notice you have two outside stereo speakers. You're going to have a nice, uh, a nice bright light for this side. Also down here, the, because you're probably going to want to go ahead and have some type of outside cooking going on or, or something, you got 110 outlet right here. Now I mentioned about filling your fresh water tank. You had the part where your city water was connected, but if you wanted to fill it manually here, it's right on this on the door side here. Right above that, you do have the exhaust for your uh, stovetop. Now right inside the doorway is where you'll be able to go ahead and operate your outside your awning, and it goes out very easily. Okay, so now once your awning is out, you can see that's pretty straight across. But now what you're able to do is, you're not going to want to have it like that, so you're able to just pull the arms down. You can do that on both sides. 
And what that'll allow you to do is have a slope. That way there, if it was raining, now you can go ahead and have the water sloping off of the awning. Okay, so now you can see you have it sloped and the water would be running to the back. Now, with this type of awning, the, go the really awesome thing about it, you don't have to do anything with those arms to put it back away. As you see, the arms will go ahead and adjust themselves as it puts itself away. Okay, so as you're coming in the camper, you're going to notice these nice aluminum uh, steps and a nice big grab handle. Let me just give you a quick view of the camper. So as you can see, we have three recliners here. Each individually, um, you can control each of them individually. All right, so the next thing you're going to have is your Dometic refrigerator freezer. And you can see you have your freezer up top and the refrigerator down below. By the way, I'll have a video on this, how to operate that uh, refrigerator down below for your viewing pleasure as well. Down below that, you're going to have a nice little drawer. And you'll be able to go ahead and uh, put whatever you like in there. I've seen actually some people take and put a nice wine bottle holder uh, down there, and they've had four or five bottles of wine. Now in your kitchen you're going to notice good sized cabinets for such a small camper and you see the glass doors and then take a look at the space inside. So good space inside. They're not overly deep cabinets but that way there makes it easier you're not going to be losing things. Even on the corner here, good, again, good cabinet space. So you're going to have a nice one piece sink. Nice thing with this kind of a sink here it's more um, like a country sink is that, you know you're able to clean the pans and notice the pull down faucet it's a high rise faucet and it has a pull down there now next what you have is you have down below your sink you're gonna have some good storage and of course you're gonna be able to get to the back of uh, your furnace right there Okay, next we have the drawer down below your oven there. And notice it's a full extension drawer glide, and it's a nice deep drawer for you as well for nice pot storage there. Now for the oven, good size oven here. You know, I mean, it's not like you're gonna cook a 20 pound turkey or anything there, but it is a good size oven. And on top, you're gonna have a three burner cooktop. Notice it was a flush mounted uh, cooktop and the benefit there is when you're not using it that gives you a nice additional uh, counter space and then notice how easy that folds back down. Now right above that we talked about the fan that goes to the outside and that's going to be right there. Also notice how you have the outlet back there down on the counter. You're going to have one there as well as at this end of your counter helping you with your coffee pot and any other little uh, you know mixers or any any other type of appliance that you're going to be plugging in in the kitchen okay so next along the counter here you're going to have a couple drawers and you'll see they're still good sized drawers and they do come out rather far full extension drawer glides again and down below that additional so this could be like your pantry storage some good storage in such a small camper here okay so as you come in the door here this is where you're going to be able to turn your lights, awning, slides, convenience center. That's where you check all your levels for your black, your gray, all that is right there. Turn your water heater on, your water pump. And then just below that, that's your Jensen AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. And it's Bluetooth capable, has an aux in plug, also has a USB plug. Now that will be connected over here. Okay, so this one does not come standard with a TV, but the TV, it's, it has the backer there, so you can put a good size TV up there on a swivel if you wish, and you'll see the plugs are there so that the DVD player can plug into the back of your TV. you got the 110 power, also your cable satellite connection, and that little red button right here that is for your power antenna booster. So that way there, if you're going to watch some local channels, you're able to get those. Okay, so all along the back of the camper is your bathroom. You notice a nice pocket door. And the nice thing about the pocket door is that when it's open, 
it is not in the way of anything. But look at how large this bathroom is. Look at how good size shower. This is a 36 by 30 shower, and this has the specially imported Italian tile all around it for the sur uh, surround. And notice how there's a curved shower curtain rod making it a little bit, giving you a little bit additional room inside that shower. Back behind the shower, you're going to notice you have cubbies. You can go ahead and put your towels and so forth through there. Plenty of room in, in front of the toilet. So we're there, and uh, lots of room in there for you to get, get dressed after the, um, after your shower. Okay, something else you're going to notice in your bathroom is that you're going to have a heat duct coming out down below the, uh, your shower there. As well as you're going to have an AC duct in the ceiling. And then you have, of course, your 12-volt fan. Now, nice thing with this kind of 12-volt fan, you do not need to have that window open. You could if you wanted to but you don't need to uh, to get some fumes out of there. Now look at the size of this counter inside this bathroom. Lots of lots of storage there. Notice the uh, power, your 110 power is conveniently located. And then look at how size of this drawer that opens up. It's deep and it comes out all the way. And next, of course, you're gonna have storage underneath the sink. Good storage underneath the sink there. And then up above, you have the medicine cabinet as well as the additional storage everywhere. So that is the bathroom area of this Explorer. Now, one other thing you have in the kitchen area is a little vent fan. Now, I know some people don't like to have this kind of a vent fan. You can always upgrade this to a fantastic vent fan. Keep in mind that with this fan, you will not need to open a window when you're running it. With a fantastic fan, you'd want to have this window open here, the one in the bathroom, or the ones behind your recliners when using. So now moving back into the bedroom here, as you're coming back, the first thing you're going to notice is you have, you have your Coleman Mach thermostat right here, and I'll link a video down on how to properly use that, because some people d don't quite understand when you're running the air conditioner how to run that most effectively. But the no one thing you're going to notice when you look in this particular model, or any of the grand designs for that matter, is their bed is actually a residential size queen bed, meaning it's 60 by 80. And then you're gonna have storage on both sides. And it's, it's a nice deep storage. You're gonna be able to put some nice clothes in there or set up some shelving and so forth. Down below that, you got another little storage bin. And then of course, 110. And then on this side, you're gonna have little USB charging ports. And on the opposite side, you're gonna have, you're gonna have um, 110. Now on this side also you're going to have where you could uh, mount a TV. You're going to have uh, cabinet storage up, ab up above there. You see a, a nice little storage. And then for your heat ducts back here, you're going to notice you're going to get two blowing the heat through here. And again, you're going to have a nice big pocket door going out into that area. In the ceiling, you have another vent here and now also you're going to notice you're going to have storage down below the bed. Now this is besides the storage that you have in the pass-through outside. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so there's... Th th oh. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so this is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy. This was the Explorer. This is the 221RB, meaning rear bath. Again, all the specs and pricing will be down below. Please do give a shout out to Jamie. It's J-A-Y-M-E, by the way, um, for doing a good job here. She's back out of retirement here. And, you know, a little rusty, but we're going to get better as we move forward. So stay tuned. We've got lots more coming. Thanks. Take care.